Please, can you turn down the volume of your TV set so that we can hear you properly here? Well, um, he dropped the call. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Hello? Yes. Good morning. Yes. Hello? Good morning. Good morning. You are connected. Good morning, please. Yes, morning. Good morning. This is Mohammed. Mohammed from where? From Jos. Mohammed from Jos. Let's hear your comments. Okay, we lost the just call. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Okay, these calls are coming, but they keep dropping. Hello, good morning. Good morning, yes. Yes, you're connected. Hello, good morning. Uh, good morning, Joseph Gordon from Makodi. Good morning. Okay, James from Makodi, let's hear you. Hello? Yes, you're connected. Hello? Go ahead. Good morning, Joseph Gordon from Makodi. Okay, Joseph uh, Gordon from Makodi. Okay, okay, go ahead. Uh, I want to comment on the issue of uh, this dollar funds. Okay. Go on. I come from the for the of this dollar fund. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why this governor should keep on holding on this money. When it's when it's not giving for for people to to, to benefit. So the at least the federal government should try and uh, look in, look into that matter seriously because I'm suffering. I don't know why this money, the money is the money is giving for people to. Hello? Yes. Uh, Hello? I think uh, we need to get something very clear here. When you call, uh, uh, depending on where you're calling from, your voice always comes a little while after you have spoken. So you should communicate with me on the phone and continue to say what you want to say. If there is a delay, your voice will come to you later. And please turn down the volume of your TV set because it causes a feedback to come to us here and we don't hear you clearly. So please don't keep waiting for your voice to come over your television set. Just say what you need to say. Let's take another call here. Hello, good morning. Hello? Yeah, good morning. Hello? Yes, you're connected. Uh -huh. my, my, name, my name is from Eberichuku, from Benue. Eberichuku from Benue. Oh. Uh, hello, good morning. Good morning. Hello? We have... A mighty lot of problem with the phone line this morning. Hello, good morning. Hello? Hello? Okay then. Hello? Okay, let's just give other callers chance to call in. Hello, good morning. Hello? Yes, morning. Good morning. Yes. Sule Abu from Gongolada, please go ahead. I want to speak on the Niger Delta. Okay. Okay. Go on. And again, we lost it. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Well, uh, hello, good morning. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Yes, you are connected. Yeah, good morning, sir. Yeah, morning. Yeah, I'm calling from Joss. My name is Dixon. Dixon from Joss. Go ahead. Yeah. I want to comment on this um, statement by Obasanjo. Go on. Actually, the politicians should be mindful of the fragile democracy and they should not allow their action or inaction to 
that means uh, democracy. Because if you look at what is happening in Katuna, the senator and the governor are the members of the polit same political parties. And it's a very, very unfortunate such thing is happening within the APC. And I think there should be a mechanism by the party to look at some of these things. Because these people will, will they endanger the democracy. If the politicians are doing this, actually, they will not occur well for this country. And on this issue of the payload, I think the federal government need to actually put a mechanism to check the state governors. The state are busy. They are busy buying big, 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 big cars and spending money. They are not even helping their own constituency, even helping the people. You cannot believe that after now there are some states who are owing salaries of the, of the workers. They are not paying salary and they are receiving series of bailouts. So what are we saying? Is the federal government encouraging corruption? Thank you, Mr. Okay, Mr. Dixon, and uh, I think you will be the last caller we are going to take. We seem to be having a bit of a problem with the uh, phone lines uh, this morning, uh, but uh, that's uh, partly our fault and partly uh, the, uh, uh, the quality of the calls are quite poor. But uh, tomorrow is another day, and uh, every day we bring you this program. Uh, at six, and as I have informed you before the beginning of the program, we will be having a short uh, op-ed that is a uh, uh, viewpoint uh, before issues in the news every morning. So this program we call a little late, maybe five minutes, uh, ten minutes late, uh, uh, ten minutes uh, later. Sorry, not late. <laughs> so uh, uh, please take note of that so that you can have a little bit more short high, and uh, or, or rather just. Stay tuned to watch that too because it's just as interesting and as informative as issues in the news. And until tomorrow when we come your way again with this program, my name is Rashid Onyangi wishing you a very good morning.